Brown anole, also known commonly as the Cuban brown anole, is a species of lizard that is native to Cuba and the Bahamas. It has widely been introduced and naturalized itself in Florida and as far north in the United States as southern Georgia, Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Hawaii, and Southern California. It has also been introduced to other Caribbean islands, Mexico, and Taiwan. The species is highly invasive. In its introduced range, it reaches exceptionally high population densities, is capable of expanding its range very quickly, and both outcompetes and consumes many species of native lizards like the green anole. The brown anole's introduction to the United States in the 1970s has altered the behavior and negatively affected populations of the native Carolina anole, which has since generally been relegated to the treetops. The brown anole is normally a light brown color with darker brown to black markings on its back and several tan to light color lines on its sides. Like other anoles, it can change color, in this case a darker brown to black. Its dewlap ranges from yellow to orange red. Brown anoles are typically five to eight and a half inches long. The males can grow as large as their male Carolina anole counterparts, around seven to eight inches, with some individuals topping nine inches. The females are also around the same size as female Carolina anoles, which range from three to six inches. The male brown anole's head is smaller than that of the male Carolina anole. Anoles are active by day in warm weather and often bask in vegetation, occasionally charging away from a basking spot to grab an insect or chase off a rival anole. During cool weather, anoles are often found hiding under tree bark, shingles, or in rotten logs. Sometimes many anoles can be found taking refuge in one spot. Anoles eat a wide variety of insects, spiders, and other invertebrates. Throughout the warm months, female brown anoles lay single, round eggs in moist soil or rotten wood at roughly 14-day intervals. Because brown anoles are so widespread and abundant, there is little chance that they can be eradicated from the United States. However, efforts can be made to slow future spread, especially in southern states and beyond. For example, you can inspect ornamental plants before transporting them and remove any brown anoles. Also, you can thoroughly examine confound spaces and storage compartments of canoes, kayaks, and other boats to prevent transporting brown anoles into natural areas such as state parks. You can create a wildlife-friendly yard with a diversity of appropriate plants that provide food and shelter for native wildlife. To make your yard more suitable for native green anoles, ensure it has areas of dense vegetation to increase availability of invertebrate food sources and hiding places for hatchling native green anoles.